We just showed you how radiation in drinking water could mean a real risk of cancer for people in central Texas and other areas. But the I-Team has found neighborhoods all across the state with water containing what scientists call one of the most damaging forms of radiation you can drink. We're surrounded by radiation every day. So how could drinking a little be a risk? Well, when it's the kind that experts say can lead to real trouble once it's inside of you. And we found it in water systems across Texas in illegal amounts, amounts the state may have tried to hide from you. It's not acceptable. Felicia Byford. This is really disturbing. And neighbor Corrine Tolbert. This is horrific, really. Have just learned they have a serious problem. You're talking about radiation. Radiation in the water that their kids play in and drink, all supplied by their local utility. Do you feel like you've been adequately informed? No, no. But it's no surprise at this Texas government lab where scientists test the public's drinking water. In fact, they know this type of contamination isn't just in Corrine and Felicia's neighborhood, but in communities all across Texas. A form of radiation, experts say, can really damage you internally. It's called the alpha particle. The alpha particle, this is the 800-pound gorilla of radioactive particles. He's Dr. I David Ozanoff, a nationally known expert on drinking water and health, based out of Boston University's School of Public Health. But when it hits something, it does a ferocious amount of damage. Alpha particles. Outside your body, they don't get past the outer layers of your skin. But once they're inside, Ozanoff says... Then many parts of your body are within knife wielding distance of living soft tissue and organs now scientists say these particles become 20 times more destructive than x-rays killing cells or what's worse just damaging their dna sometimes breaking not one but both chains of the molecule making it difficult for your body to repair and Ozanov says that can be the start of trouble. Because all you need is one cell to go bad. You see, scientists now know it only takes one cell with broken DNA. So it instructs the cell to divide over and over, eventually becoming a tumor and... The disease that we call cancer. Which brings us back to MUD 105. You see, for years, the state's own tests show its drinking water had significant amounts of radioactive alpha particles, with enough in 2008 and 2009 to violate the EPA's federal legal limit, something the MUD mentioned in these two annual water quality reports as a problem with alpha emitters. But our mothers say not good enough. Screw the fine print. Something this serious? I don't care. It should be mandatory that everybody in this district knows what's going on. And we asked Professor Ozanov. Do you think most people have any idea what alpha activity really means? I'm confident they don't. I don't think there's reason for panic. Taylor Goodall is MUD 105's lawyer. Do you think the average Joe knows that there's radiation in your water? Well, I can't necessarily speak for the average Joe, but I know that we've sent out mailers. Mailers like this one that disclose the radiation problem but also told residents that it's not an emergency and you don't have to switch water supplies. Scientists would say exposure to this amount of radiation over a number of years leads to an increased risk of cancer in your community. Does that concern you? <laughs> any, is any issues of public health do concern me. To which one of our mothers had an interesting response. Bullsh you come live here, you come drink this water, and then you tell me how you feel in two years. But MUD 105 isn't alone. All over Harris County, state water tests show alpha particles in Municipal Utility District 238, MUD 23, the city of Katy, and hundreds of others, like the suburban mobile home park, with enough alpha particle radiation in its well water to violate the law three years in a row. And yet the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, or TCEQ, has allowed that water well to remain in use for years. TCEQ is always first for protecting human health. TCEQ's Linda Brookins oversees water safety and supply for the entire state of Texas. She says the chance of getting cancer from alpha radiation is very unlikely. This is a naturally occurring element. I understand it's a naturally occurring element, but... 
Just because it's naturally occurring doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to hurt you. We asked her about something else we uncovered. What would you tell me if I have talked to numerous scientists across the nation that would say that what TCEQ did was bad science? Well, I guess I have no comment on that. So what's the problem? You see, long ago, folks here at the EPA's headquarters set the record straight when it comes to how states are supposed to warn you when they find radiation that can cause cancer in the very water that you drink. The trouble is, we've discovered that Texas regulators didn't listen and instead underreported radiation readings for years, letting some water systems avoid violations, even allowing the radiation to continue to flow. You see, when the state tests your water for alpha radiation, they get a number. The higher the number, the more the radiation. But then the scientists also calculate something called the test's margin of error. It's a statistic to remind them that the test result might be a certain amount higher or a certain amount lower. But in science, the actual test result is left untouched. So guess what we found TCEQ doing? Well, for decades, they took each radiation test result and would always subtract from it its margin of error, always lowering the amount of radiation that was actually found. The result? Lower official water radiation scores in nearly every community. What do you think about that? Well, I think from a public health standpoint, it's hard to defend. It's Meet Brown University water quality scientist Dr. Joshua Hamilton. He took a look at what we uncovered. You're not really getting an accurate picture of what your health risk might be, uh, nor does your community really know what the actual exposures are. Take MUD 105. For the last 20 years, with the subtractions, they only were cited for two radiation violations in 2008 and 2009. But take away the bad math, and they actually had 12 times that they went over the legal limit for radiation, warning signs that were missed for decades. And the whole thing makes Hamilton suspicious. I don't see how it could be accidental. And Dr. Rosanoff goes further. The word that comes up in my mind is cover-up. Don't you understand that by subtracting off the margin of error, you have real impact on the people that live there? Because if a water system doesn't get a violation, they won't fix the problem. I do not believe that what TCQ was do doing at that time has impacted human health. Then in the year 2000, the EPA published this federal rule banning the subtracting practice in every state. But what did the TCEQ do? We found they kept right on subtracting, lowering water radiation scores for all of Texas. Did you happen to skip over page 76727 of the federal rule? Because right in here in 2000, EPA told you, don't subtract for margin of error. Did you skip that part? It doesn't say not to subtract. It doesn't. It is silent. I'd like you to go ahead and hold this in your hand for a moment and read the part that's underlined in blue. I'm not going to do that on camera. But we still had questions. Was this deliberate? And if so, who made the decision? Well, in a moment, we'll go further down the rabbit hole of Texas government and find what one watchdog called a high-level conspiracy. When we come back, you'll find out which top Texas politicians knew you were being misled about your drinking water. Welcome back. You just saw investigative reporter Mark Greenblatt reveal that Texas officials misled the public for decades. How? By making it appear that their water had less radiation than test results actually showed. But we wondered, why would they do it? It's a cover-up of the highest order. Tom Smitty Smith of Public Citizen, the consumer advocacy group, is angry. You're getting fired up over this. I think it's an outrage. What's an outrage? Our discovery that for years, Texas officials improperly lowered radiation in water testing results for communities all across the state, continuing even after this 2000 EPA directive banned the practice. And when the government fails to warn us, that's the most fundamental breaking of our trust that you can imagine. Would you have been making different choices for what you would be drinking? Well, absolutely. Take Brenda and Ian Haynes. We were put at more risk 
than what we thought. Because their neighborhood gets its water from Harris County Municipal Utility District 105, where state tests originally showed their water having more radiation than allowed by federal law. But each year, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality stepped in and lowered those results, sometimes by more than 50 percent, so that they were under that legal limit. Do you feel like they put you at risk? Yes. I do. Because for this couple, there was another issue. What was the first sign? Short throat. Two years ago, Brenda visited her doctor and... He checked me. He's like, wait, there's a lump here. There's a little... And I'm like, what? His diagnosis, thyroid cancer. I mean, it's... Well, what can you... What can you do? What you... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With the help of surgery, Brenda survived, but her husband says the last thing she needed during her illness was radiation in her water. That's, that's wrong. But for Smith, what's worse, what the state did was a deliberate act. The documents show that they clearly intent, gave the order saying, change the results. What documents? These from the TCEQ given to KHOU only after the state attorney general ordered their release. First, take this note from a TCEQ manager showing the agency knew all about the EPA directive, saying there may have been some EPA guidance on not subtracting, but this has been the practice in Texas since day one. And this option of not subtracting was thoroughly discussed with the commissioners, the top leadership of the TCEQ. And so, the manager writes, we were directed to maintain the current methodology for subtracting. And this 2004 agency report to the Texas Water Advisory Council tells us why, that maintaining the subtraction will eliminate approximately 35 violations, keeping the water providers in those communities off the EPA's radar and Texans uninformed. And this same report went to the state Speaker of the House, Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst, and even Governor Rick Perry. It shows the flagrant disregard that the administration and their appointees have for federal law based on real science. I believe local first, state second, federal government third. Meet Kathleen Hartnett White, the chair of the TCEQ commission. At the time, commissioners decided to ignore the feds. As my memory serves me, that made incredibly Good sense. Because while White is not a scientist, she says those she did consult with thought the EPA standards were too protective and costly. We did not believe the science of health effects justified EPA setting the standard where they did. But in fact, the EPA regulations have been supported by wide-ranging studies like this work by the National Academy of Sciences, written by more than a dozen of the world's top radiation scientists. But White insists... I have far more trust in the vigor of the science by which TCQ assesses than I do EPA. But instead of changing water testing results, why didn't the state of Texas take on the EPA's rules openly and in court? White's answer at the federal level... There are legal challenges um, because of law, not because of science that are almost impossible w to win. And so Texas went on lowering radiation scores for years until an EPA audit finally caught it and ordered the TCEQ to stop the practice in 2009. But White says, trust her, Texas knows best. But what if you're wrong? Well, if you, if, when you have, there's all kinds of ways. But what if you're wrong and EPA was right? Well, I don't see, what do you mean? What if you're wrong and EPA is right about there being a danger at that level? It would be, it would be regrettable. Now, you might live in a city where the water has radiation, but where it's under the EPA's legal limit. Well, when we come back, we'll show you what that can really mean.